Now we'll talk about multiplying with the number 10. We have a base 10 number system, so multiplying using the number 10 is really easy. Multiplying by 10 or 100 or 1,000 or any other power of 10 is just a matter of adding zeros to the end of a number. We'll look at these examples. 17 times 10 ends up being 170. We just take our 17 and we add a single zero. 285 times 1,000, well, we take the 285 and we add those three zeros to the end. So 285,000 is the answer. 43 times 10,000, we can just write down our 43 and add those four zeros on the end. And the comma goes right there, 430,000. And when we're multiplying larger numbers, two digits or more, if the numbers have zero, a zero or zeros on the end, we can simplify our process for doing this. The six times zero, this zero here multiplied by the six and by the five is going to give me extra zeros, so I don't actually have to do this. I can just put a zero and start with my two. And two times six is 12. And 2 times 5 is 10, plus that 1 is 11. So 1,120 is my answer. Over here, I can skip these first two rows, because those two zeros, and I can just put two placeholders and start here in the hundreds place with my 7. So 7 times 3 is 21. 7 times 4 is 28, plus 2 is 30. And 7 times 2 is 14 plus the 3 is the 17, and I'm done. Put in my comma, 170,100 is the answer. In this example, I have 280 times 5,600. I'm just going to ignore all of these zeros on the end right there. I'm going to rewrite the problem. I'm going to say 28 times 56. I can multiply those and then come back at the end and add one, two, three zeros on at the end. So let's do 28 times 56. 6 times 8 is 48. 6 times 2 is 12, plus the 4 is 16. And then I put in a 0. 8 times 5 is 40. And that 4 uh, works again for that second round here. So 5 times 8 is 40, then 5 times 2 is 10, plus the 4 is 14. And I add these up. I get an 8, a 6, 4 plus 1 is 5, and a 1. And then I come back and take these three zeros and put them on the end. And I put in my commas. 1,568,000 is the answer.